How do you become a successful salon owner? Well, watch this video and I'll show you how to make sure you're maximizing your profit. Hey, it's Jason Ever from HighPerformanceSalon.com and today's video is brought to you by Salon Scale. Charge by what you know, not by what you feel. So one of the biggest challenges, problems, and issues that I see with salon owners all the time is when they want to make more money, they do exactly that, is they make more money. The only problem is they make what's called top line revenue, meaning they create more income for the business, but they don't know if they've actually made a profit. So what are some of the profit killers? Well, depending on what state you're in, you probably know by now that some businesses, maybe the restaurants around you, are starting to pass along more expenses to their guests that are coming through the restaurant. For example, in some states, it is now legal for you to say, hey, if you pay by cash, there's no fee, but if you pay by credit card, there's now a two, three, or even 4% service charge that gets added to your bill. Why are restaurants doing this? Well, number one, because they're trying to keep up with inflation as inflation rises and people are paying more, they're saying, hey, I have to pass along more of my business expenses to my guests and clients and customers and say, hey, there's a way for you to pay no fee and there's a way for you to pay it with a fee as an added convenience. So what does that mean for you as a salon owner? It means that you've got to take a look at all of the expenses that you have inside your salon and say, am I properly passing these expenses along to my guests? Because for a really long time, you couldn't really say, well, how much water am I using for every client visit? How much of the front desk person's time am I using for every single visit? But it's very easy to track some things like your stylist commission percent, that's very easy to track towards that guest. As a business owner, your job is to tally up all of the expenses that you have before if, if that guest didn't come in. What are the expenses that you have to have now that guest is there and can you pass those in the service charges, in the expenses to actually create the charge that you want to that guest to make sure that you've added a profit on to the proper, proper numbers of things that you've got. So I've actually created an entire sheet for you that'll show you how to break down all the expenses you might have. And again, yes, something like water is an expense you have. Something like power is an expense that you have. Something like the accountant is an expense that you have. Now, some of those are things that you will incur whether the guest is there or not. Those are a lot harder to pass on to the guest, but a lot of those items are passable, meaning if you've used towels or laundry or a credit card or a certain amount of shampoo or a certain amount of color, those should be items that are for sure passed along to the guest and then marked up. Because the last thing you want is to have expenses larger than what you've charged for the guest and you actually lose money on every single service. So if you want that resource, do me a favor and just say resource in the comment section or click the link near this video to make sure you get that resource and you have it available for you to use. And it'll make you a wiser business owner because instead of tracking only the top line gross revenue, you'll actually be managing the bottom line, which is the part that actually puts money in your pocket. That's what you should be paying attention to is the bottom line profit by passing along all expenses to the guest because that's who's ultimately paying the bill at the end of the day. If you like this video and you want to see more content like it, do me a favor, head over to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Check out our free Profitable Salon or Facebook group. Check out our Instagram page and get more content that'll help you grow your salon.